Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I'm here with the third in my series of comparison videos of the 2021 White Sox to a team that they will play in 2021, and certainly the 2021 Royals fit that description. So yes, we will play the Royals. The first time will be in April, and we're going to play them a lot because they're a division opponent. Uh, last year, the Royals finished third in the Central Division. Um, they weren't very good. They were a distant third. We were tied for second, uh, but the Royals were 26 and 34 and in third place. And we were tied for second with the Indians. So, and we had a record of, well, I don't remember what our record was, but I think it was, I think we won like 34 or 35 games. Um, so we were uh, technically, technically we were the third place team and a wild card qualifier. So we'll see how that goes this year. But um, anyway, uh, last year, the um, the White Sox were second in the league in in batting average, um, with a two sixty one average, and they were first in the American League with ninety six home runs. So we will go through this comparison and see what we're what we're looking at now. I've gone over the White Sox, and I will go over the White Sox in every video, So, and we'll do them first. The White Sox, of course, the general lineup, and we don't know, I mean, LaRusse is the guy making the lineup, so it's up to him what the real lineup is actually going to be. But the general lineup is you've got uh, Tim Anderson at shortstop. He hit 322 last year, which led the White Sox. Adam Eaton will probably be the right fielder. He's a newcomer. He's a relative newcomer. I mean, he was on the team a few years ago, and now we got him back. And I think he's probably only going to play right field, I would think, against um, right-handed pitching because he's a left-handed hitter, and he might platoon with Adam Eaton, um, or uh, with uh, uh, Adam Engel in right field. So with Adam Engel playing against the left-handers. Uh, Nick Madrigal at second. He has Monty Grandal at, at catcher. Jose Abreu at first. He had 19 home runs last year in 60 games um, and a 370 on base percentage, both of which led the White Sox. Eloy Jimenez in left field. Um, he may also be the DH. Don't know. It's up to Larusa early on, um, and uh, Johan Moncada at third. Lewis Robert in center. Lewis Robert last year I think hit about 251, so he got off to kind of a slow start to his career hitting wise. But he is a great defensive center fielder. And uh, Lori Garcia at DH or utility or left field. He may play left instead of Jimenez early on, and Jimenez being the DH. We'll have to see how that works out. Also, as you can see on the um, on the bench, I've got uh, Adam Vaughn listed there, or Andrew Vaughn listed there, and Andrew Vaughn may also come up at some point, make an appearance, and actually be the DH, which would put, um, or the first baseman, which would put him switching off between those two positions with um, uh, Abreu. And then maybe we don't see uh, Lurie Garcia in the lineup a lot at that point. Maybe he just fulfills his role as a super utility guy off the bench. The rotation should be something along the lines of Lance Lynn and Lucas Giolito, who last year had a 104 whip for the White Sox, which was quite good. Dallas Keuchel, Dylan Cease, Michael Kopech, of course, we're going to have to see. Michael Kopech sat out last year, so we'll see if he decides to pitch this year. And that's why I have Ronaldo Lopez listed um, as a 
sixth starter and maybe a swing man between the bullpen and the rotation. We'll see if Kopech decides to opt out again or if some kind of issue comes up with him, then you would think it would be Lopez that would be the fifth starter. And then, of course, the, um, the bullpen is Liam Hendricks and Cody Hauer, Hewer, uh, Adam Bummer, Evan Marshall, Matt Foster, uh, Cordero, Jace Fry, and Garrett Crotchet, the guy that can throw over 100 miles an hour. Expect to see him. I would expect to see him. And then the bench would be Adam Engel, and again, Adam Engel possibly platooning with um, Adam Eaton in right field. Danny Mendick, uh, Andrew Vaughn, if he comes up, he may not be up with the team right at the start of the season. We'll see. Depends on LaRusa, what he thinks. Uh, Zach Collins, Nick, Nicky Delmonico, and Micker Adolfo. So that rounds that out for us. And now we go to Kansas City. In the Kansas City lineup, uh, they lead off with their best, I mean, clearly the best player on their team, Whit Merrifield in right field. Alberto Mondesi at shortstop, he's been kind of, uh, he's a streaky guy and, and even year to year he's streaky. So we'll see, he could have a great year, he could have a terrible year or something in between. Carlos Santana, who they got from the Indians to play first base. RJ Soler at DH. Salvador Perez at catcher. Franchi Cordero in left field. Hunter Dozier at third. Nicky Lopez at second. And Michael Taylor, who came over from the uh, Nationals playing center field. He has had his problems hitting, and that's probably why the Nationals parted ways with him, never did get his bat in line, but he is a great defensive center fielder. Their rotation is headed by their uh, grand poobah, Danny Duffy. Danny Duffy always seems to be in their rotation every year, never really very good, but he's there. Brad Keller, Mike Miner, Brady Singer, who's one of their good young pitching prospects, Jake Junis, and Kyle Zimmer I listed as a potential sixth starter. He did start last year. Um, Roto Champ has him in the bullpen, but you know how it works. Guys are always, during the course of especially a 162-game season, shuffled between the bullpen and the starting rotation uh, quite often. So you rarely ever do you take the five guys you start the season with and they go all season long. Their bullpen would be Josh Staumont, Scott Barlow, Greg Holland, their overpriced relief pitcher, Jesse Hahn, Tyler Zuber, Jake Newberry, and Chance Adams. And um, on the bench for them you have Ed Olivares, Ryan McBroom, Ryan O'Hearn, Bubba Starling, Cam Gallagher, and Nick Heath. So, I mean, a lot of these guys I never even heard of. And the ones that I have heard of, they're not that great. Um, but if you saw the, I put up the Detroit versus Detroit, and I'm predicting that Detroit will finish last in our division. So, these guys, as bad as this looks, I'm still going to say they're probably going to finish uh, fourth again. Fourth, wait, one, two, three, third. Third, and with Detroit finishing fourth and in last in the division. So, um, no, wait a minute, fifth. Yeah, fifth. Last year the Royals were fourth. We were tied for, no, we were tied for, yeah, we were tied for second, but technically third. The Royals were fourth. And Detroit was fifth, and I pretty much that's how you can um, bet on it finishing at least between the Royals and the uh, Detroit Tigers. The Royals being fourth and the Tigers being fifth. I think we're going to win the division. Again, we play the Royals quite often. We play Detroit quite often. 
we're better than those teams now. And when I get to the Indians preview, you'll see why I think we're even better than the Indians. No one in their right mind would bet against the Chicago White Sox. Um, so that's what I got. Um, what do you guys think? Think this is a a team that we're going to beat up on? I mean, that's what we got to do. We've got to beat up on the Royals. We've got to beat up on Detroit. And we have to do really well against the Indians. We play those teams, all those teams, a lot. And we're better than those teams. So we got to beat them, really beat them into submission uh, on our way to winning the Central Division in 2021. But what do you guys think? You think we're going to win it? Win the division? Um, what do you think in the playoffs? Um, I'll get to that in a later video, sometime later on, but for right now, I just wanted to compare us to the Royals, who, as I say, we play quite often. And uh, I'd be interested to hear your opinion. Leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. If you just happen to stumble across the video and uh, this is the first time you've seen me, subscribe to the channel. Doesn't hurt. In fact, we've got this reminder right here. Subscribe to Sportsman Z. Doesn't hurt. And doesn't cost anything. And it helps me out. But for right now, that's my analysis of us versus the Royals. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, signing out.